How to create a floating widget on top of all other widgets in Flutter by using the overlay widget. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's start with an elevated button that you see here on the right side. And if we click on this button, then we want to show our floating widget. Therefore, let's make use of the overlay widget and with help of the overlay widget, you can insert widgets on top of your app UI. To do this, you need to create first of all an entry. So we create here in our state an overlay entry. And now we want to create this entry inside of our show overlay method. Therefore, we create this overlay entry and here inside within the builder, you can then put the widget inside, which should be displayed on top of your app UI. And lastly, you can make use of the positioned widget, which you wrap around your widget. And then you can position this widget anywhere on the screen. So in my case, on the top left corner. And with this, if I click on this button, you see that we have here this floating widget on top of our UI. And this is exactly the button that we have created here on the left side. Next, we want to move this button also around in our UI. Therefore, we exchange here the position of our widget by an offset. And this offset we want to create then here within our state. And lastly, we need to change this offset to move our widget here around in our UI. Therefore, let's go back here to our show overlay method. And we simply want to wrap then our button inside of a gesture detector. And here inside you have then the property on pen update. And with this, you can always update here the offset with the offset that was changed. And now it is important that you cannot use here the set state to update here your overlay entry. Instead, you need to use here the entry and then you have here the method mark needs build, which is pretty similar to the set state method. Make sure to click on hot restart and then we can show our button again and you can also move it around in your UI above all of your widgets. Let's also hide our floating overlay widget if we click on this button and therefore we create here a new method hide overlay. And now we can make simply use of this entry that we have stored inside of our state. And then we simply call on this entry the remove method to hide it again from our UI. All right, let's try it out. We want to remove here this widget. Therefore, if we click on this button, you see it disappears again. And if I click on the show button, then it appears again. And lastly, instead of clicking on a button to show here our floating widget, you can also do it inside of your init state method. Here you simply call the show overlay method that we have created before. And it is important if you execute this method inside of your init state, then you also need to wrap it here around with this at post frame callback. Otherwise you will get an error. And lastly, you can also create here the dispose method to clean everything again up and to hide here your overlay again if it is not needed. And with this, if you click here on hot restart, then you have immediately this floating widget and you don't need to click here anymore on the buttons because we simply call then here inside of the init state method, the show overlay method. And by the way, if you want to get here the source source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.